this first hairstyler, we're gonna focus on getting some volume and keeping it loose. So first of all, I'm gonna add some root lift spray to my roots and blow dry it upside down for some extra volume in my hair. You can do this on wet or dry hair. Then put your hair into the pigtails and I kind of put mine a little lower down and then pulled my hair so that it went a little higher and loosened the hair at my roots. You can see that gives me a lot of volume up top. Bonus points, you can wrap your hair around the hair ties to hide them if you want. Then for some extra volume at the ends, I pulled my hair apart and sprayed it with some hairspray and you'll find that gives you a little bit of volume without teasing. For this hairstyle, we're going to focus on just curling the ends. So get your hair into those pigtails and then wrap your hair around your favorite curling iron to get some curl. That's a lot faster because all you have to do is curl the ends instead of all of your hair. Then to get some more extra volume, you can pull your hair apart and spray it with some hairspray just like we did in the last hairstyle and you can have a little bit of extra volume. Okay, so this time we're going with curls from all over your head. So you can go ahead and curl your hair for this hairstyle or do this on second day curls or on your natural curl or wave. Then go ahead and add your scrunchies in at whatever height you want for your pigtails. And I added a scarf to this for a little bit of a retro look. So I put the middle of it on my forehead, wrapped it around the back, and then tied the knot on top of my forehead. And it just gave it a little bit more pizzazz, I think, to a typical kind of pigtail hairstyle. For this hairstyle, you're gonna start out with ponytails that are up a little closer to your hairline. And you can even wear them just like this, and it's super, super cute wearing them kind of up high like this. But if you want to, you can throw one of your pigtails behind your shoulder and give kind of this pigtail slash side ponytail look. I think it's really cool and a fun way to wear them. For this hairstyle, you're gonna start out with a little lower of pigtails, and you're gonna break the hair right over one pigtail in half, so you create this little loop. Then you're gonna feed your hair through that loop a couple of times, as many times as your hair will let you. For me, that was twice. Then you're gonna go ahead and tighten it back up, and then loosen up the twist as much as you need to. This creates a really cool twist right over your ponytail without a whole lot of extra work. So you get some great little pigtails out of it, and it's really cute. For this one, you're gonna start out by wrapping your hair around one hand to create kind of a donut shape. Then you're gonna grab that donut shape with one hand leaving just the top out and wrap your hair tie around the top. That way you create this nice little messy bun. Then once that's done, you can pull it apart very gently if you want to, just not too much or you might accidentally pull it out. And that is it. You can add a little cap or snap back if you want, just depending on your taste. I think it looks super cool and I kinda like the tomboy vibe. For these pigtails, we're just gonna braid each section halfway down your hair. No matter how long your hair is, just go halfway down the hair and then secure it with a hair tie. And then do the exact same thing on the other side. And then if you want some extra volume to your hair, just pull the braid apart and it makes it look a lot bigger and more voluminous. And that's it, it's super fast and cute. And who can really ask for anything more? Another quick option is just to go with the simple option. Just braid each side all the way down and secure it with a tie. I have seen a lot of people do this and I actually really love it. You should definitely give it a try when you're in a hurry. This hairstyle, all you need is to separate the hair that you want to have in your braid, then split it into three and braid all the way down your hair. Then at the end, you want to secure it with a clear elastic so that you can't see the hair tie. Then you're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. Once that's done, if you want to, you can pull this apart to get some extra volume. I like it with the curls having a little extra volume because I think it kind of matches the shape of the curls really nicely. And finally, for all you braidaholics, try a unique braid. This one is actually really easy. You just pick a strand of your hair and braid it all the way down, finishing off with the clear elastic. Then split the rest of your hair into two and use that braid plus the two sections of hair that you have as the three sections of a new braid. That way you have a braid within a braid, which looks really cool and it doesn't take a whole lot of extra time. But for those of you guys who like to get fancy, you can always do fishtail braids, four strand braids, five strand braids, carousel braids, whatever you want to do here, and it will look really great as well. That's it for my pigtail braid hairstyles. I want you to tell me in the comments which one you want to wear the most and definitely send me pictures using the hashtag Kaylee Melissa to any of my social media if you do, so I can like it and comment back to you. I always love seeing what you guys come up with. I hope you guys love this and I hope you try it out. See you in my next video. Mwah. Bye.